Hello! Today I'd like to tell you about another masterpiece of the 1600s. It's the so-called Perspective Colonnade by Francesco Borromini and is in Palazzo Spada here in Rome. The masterpiece was designed by the architect together with Giovanni Maria da Bitonto, who was a priest and a mathematician, between 1652 and 1653 for Cardinal Bernardino Spada, the owner of the palace. At first glance, it looks like a normal, beautiful corridor, about 35 meters long. And the statue you see on the other side of it looks like a life-size statue. But it is not what it seems to be. In fact, in reality, the corridor is only 9 meters long. Well, actually less, about 8.82 meters long. And the statue of the warrior is about 80 centimeters tall. How is that possible? Well, this is because Borromini was the genius of the Baroque time, which was all about illusions, as we said last time. So, this is one of the best tricks of scale ever created. Cardinal Spada was absolutely obsessed with space. He thought that his amazing palace was not big enough. So, he asked the architect to add even more space by means of perspective. So, if you look carefully, you notice that the beautiful mosaic floor actually rises, whereas the ceiling drops, and the Doric columns on the sides, instead of advancing in a parallel fashion, actually converge towards a single vanishing point, which is constituted by the statuette of the warrior. At that time, the illusion was further enhanced by the fact that on the ceiling there were windows. So, thanks to the light filtering through, there were effects of chiaroscuro, light and shade contrasts. Cardinal Spada created this amazing Baroque masterpiece to impress his guests. The masterpiece is in the Secret Garden, which was the most exclusive area of the palace. The palace, too, is an absolute masterpiece, where you can also see the gallery, the place where Cardinal Spada kept his beautiful collection, uh, which is constituted of paintings, of classical sculptures, furniture, and this is a very, very quiet place, sadly overlooked by most tourists. When you go there, you really have the impression of stepping back in time, as if time had frozen completely. So this is what I usually include in a secret room of the beaten track itinerary and I strongly recommend it for your next trip to Rome.